Today, we'll be assembling and installing the Avast Marine Plank Automatic Feeding System. The plank system consists of two main components, the keg, which is the food container with motorized dispenser, and the plank platform with an automatic mixing chamber. First, we'll install the plank feeder platform. To begin, insert the pump assembly into the mixing chamber. The bottom of the crescent-shaped drain should be flush with the bottom of the mixing chamber, and the pump's power cord should line up with a small notch. Then route the power cord into the notch and up into the channel on the side of the plank. Adjust the clamp so that the space between the mixing chamber and the clamp is approximately the thickness of the aquarium rim where the plank will be mounted. Once the plank is in place, use a screwdriver to tighten the screws holding the clamp to the plank. The remaining gap will be filled by the pair of thumb screws in the clamp block, which will lock the plank to the edge of the aquarium. Connect the mixing pump power supply and plug in to an always-on outlet. The mixing pump is designed to run continuously inside the chamber. Check that the water level is high enough in the mixing chamber and that it swirls gently when the pump is running. The pump assembly can be raised or lowered within the chamber a little bit as needed, depending on the aquarium's water level. Install the keg onto the plank platform. As the keg is somewhat heavy, make sure that the plank is securely fastened to the aquarium wall before setting the keg onto the plank slots. Run the keg's AC power cord to either a simple digital wall timer, a Wi-Fi controllable outlet adapter, or an aquarium controller's power bar. If you use a digital wall timer, we recommend one capable of one minute timing resolution. For smaller aquariums or those with only a few small fish, we recommend a timer capable of seconds level resolution. Feeding duration in these cases may be as few as 10 to 15 seconds. Next, we'll add food to the keg. The feeder mechanism is optimally designed for dispensing small, precise amounts of fine particle freeze-dried food types, such as calanoid cupopods or tiny mysoshrimp found in our reef jerky custom marine food mix. It will also work well with more common pellet food or algae flakes. Depending on the number and size of your fish, the keg will typically hold anywhere from a week to several months worth of food.
we recommend situating the output of the mixing chamber near a circulation pump, so the hydrated food is immediately drawn into the current and rapidly dispersed throughout the aquarium. This allows all of the fish, both the bold and the shy, an equal opportunity to catch their preferred meals. Many reef fish have evolved to continuously eat small particles out of the water column. The plank feeder is specifically designed to allow this type of frequent microfeeding technique. Start by feeding very small portions and gradually increase the frequency and amount while observing how your fish and aquarium respond to the new food source. Remember, freeze-dried food contains all of the protein and nutrients as frozen food, minus the water. A little bit goes a long way. Now we'll go over how to disassemble and clean the mixing pump chamber. This is necessary once small filter feeders begin to build up inside the mixing tube. To begin, pull the pump's power cable out of the channel in the plank and the notch in the feeding tube. Carefully pull the pump assembly out of the tube. Remove the small caps on either side of the rectangular pump nozzle. Push the nozzle through the divider disc. This may be a fairly tight friction fit. The pump will be attached to the nozzle and may need to be pulled out of the divider disc. Disassemble the rectangular nozzle and the pump intake covers and clean with the included brush. The crescent-shaped drain fitting also friction fits into the divider disc, but it can be cleaned without needing to be removed. Reassemble the pump and the nozzle and press into place in the divider disc. Note the small circular well for the power cord in the disc. Replace the caps. They are identical, so just put one on either end. Reinsert the pump assembly into the chamber. Be sure to line up the power cord with the notch in the tube. The crescent-shaped drain should be flush with the bottom of the tube. Run the power cord back into the channel in the plank and reinstall on your aquarium. We hope that you enjoy watching your fish feed and behave in a more natural manner, as they would on a wild reef.